Hi there, this is Courtney Long, and welcome to the free video series, Inspired Intuition. I'm so happy that you're here. If you're like many of my clients, you either know that you're intuitive, but question your intuition or doubt the intuitive guidance that you receive, your mind gets in the way, or you might not even realize that you are intuitive and what I'm here to share with you today are five sacred signs that you are intuitive to help you to understand if you are intuitive and if you are being guided to open your intuition even more to be able to help more people. For those who don't know me, I'm an angel communicator, life purpose intuitive, author, speaker, and master's level social worker, and my passion is helping you and other spiritual seekers to discover your divine life purpose, your soul's calling, and discover your gifts, your passions, and your talents so you can shine brightly, share your gifts, and make the difference that you were born to make. And activating your intuition, opening your intuitive channels is key to fulfilling your divine life purpose and really making the difference you were born to make because your intuition is the place through which the divine speaks to you, whether you call that God, source, spirit, universe, your higher self, your soul, the angels, that whole realm of divine guidance comes through your intuition. And the more that you open your intuition, the more you can be on the path of your purpose, living with passion and prosperity. Okay, let's dive in. The topic for today is the five sacred signs that you are intuitive. As we go through each one, I invite you to pay attention to which ones you relate to and just what you feel as we go through each one. Intuitive sign number one, sign that you are intuitive, is that you are very sensitive. Very sensitive. This could be emotionally sensitive. It could be sensitive to energy or to temperature, to sounds, to violence. There's many forms of sensitivity. And most people who are very intuitive have been accused by other people throughout their lives of being too sensitive. You know, I was called too sensitive and too emotional as a child. And it's not that you're too sensitive. It's just that you're more sensitive than the average person being very sensitive and and you might even notice that your sensitivity is increasing as our world keeps shifting more and more your sensitivity is just becoming more and more heightened do you relate to that are you very very sensitive and, and just a little side note sensitivity is a strength it's a beautiful beautiful gift intuitive sign number two is that you're caring and empathic, that you really care about other people and care about the world, that you care about the planet, and it really you know, even hurts you to see other people hurting, or even, you know, it's, it's a form of even being emotionally sensitive, but that you feel deeply, you feel things intensely, and that you have a deep sense of empathy, that you're empathic, that you can really, really understand the feelings of others and relate to other people. And maybe you can sense other people's feelings and emotions when they're not even saying something. You know, maybe someone is putting on a smile, but you can sense that deep down they're really sad. Um, but being very caring is definitely a sign of being very intuitive and also loving deeply, really connecting with other people deeply, um, even having deep conversations and wanting to go deep with other people and having a deep desire to help, to help other people that you love, to help strangers, to help the world. Maybe you even perhaps love helping animals or plants, nature, but just overall a drive to help because of your big, caring, loving heart. Do you relate to this? Does this sound like you? Intuitive sign number three, sign that you are very, very intuitive, <laughs> this one cracks me up, is that you have always felt different. You've always felt different from other people, maybe like a complete oddball. 
maybe you have, you know, were bullied as a child or teased or taunted, or maybe in your family, you've been the black sheep or the, the weird one who's always talking about all these weird spiritual things or talking about energy, <laughs> but overall just feeling different from other people, almost feeling um, kind of isolated from family, from friends, just from the world, that you, you see things differently than many people do. And this is, a, again, it's a strength. All of these are strengths. But do you relate to this one, that you've always felt different, maybe a little wild, off the beaten path, a little bit of an oddball? Intuitive sign number four <laughs> is that your life feels incomplete might feel like there's something missing, something really important missing, like this picture of uh, a puzzle piece that's missing from your life. And a lot of people feel this, but when someone's very intuitive, they feel that sense of incompleteness very strongly. Many people interpret it as a romantic partner being missing or a soulmate. And by all means, that might be a part of the picture. Yet what's really, really missing is a deep, deep connection to the divine, to God, to source, to spirit, universe, to your intuitive guidance, to your soul's wisdom flowing through you each and every moment of each and every day. If you don't have that, that intuition flowing regularly, you can feel anxious, you can feel alone, afraid, you can feel worried, just kind of unsettled, and like something is really missing. And a lot of intuitive people seek to fill up that hole with human things, whether it's food or relationships or even addictions or habits that don't really serve them. But when they open up their intuit intuition and allow that intuition to flow, it fills in those missing holes and pieces and helps them to feel complete and to feel um, at peace and loving and confident and strong and more at peace even with with life and with being alive on planet earth and just the whole journey of fulfilling one's purpose so connecting with your intuition does so so much and do you relate to this one like you feel like something's missing or you're just kind of craving something more in your life intuitive sign number five is that sometimes you just know things. Sometimes your intuition just speaks to you randomly and you don't even know why you know something. You might receive an intuitive hunch or a feeling. Sometimes you might even hear inspiring words in your head or words of warning. It doesn't mean you're going crazy, that you're hearing crazy voices. It really is your intuition speaking to you. You might get goosebumps on your arms or little tingles on the top of your head or a pit in the bottom of your stomach if something doesn't feel right. But sometimes you just know what's going to happen. You could even make a prediction about what's going to happen or have just a strong feeling, maybe even a strong feeling about someone that you don't know and you get a feeling about them that they're a nice person or good person or maybe that you need to kind of have your guard up around that person. Um, so, so do you ever just know things even though you don't know why you know? You have no, no evidence to back it up, but it's your intuition speaking to you. Do you relate to that? If you answered yes to two or more of these questions, then my hunch is that you are very, very, very intuitive. And actually, everyone is intuitive. Everyone is intuitive. It's just that some are, are meant to open their intuition more than others, and some are they're meant to utilize their intuition to fulfill their purpose and to help more people in this world. And the next step, if you've been enjoying this, the next step is to take the quiz. Are you intuitive? That will have even more sacred signs that you are intuitive and meant to help more people with your intuitive gifts. You can access that quiz at CourtneyLongAngels.com forward slash intuitive quiz. Again, CourtneyLongAngels.com forward slash intuitive quiz. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out my free video series, Inspired Intuition. You can sign up for free at CourtneyLongAngels.com forward slash intuition tips. 
I hope you enjoy the video series.